Hi guys, welcome to this first video in the lockdown terrain week. So lots of people out there, how to make a hill. So here we go. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to show you really quick and simple techniques so you can produce something like this at home. And it's a hill for Kings of War, War of Quest, War of Quest, Age of Sigmar, and anything like that that needs a hill, or even 40k. And it's really quick and simple techniques, cheap, easy to do. So without further ado, let's get those hobby supplies and those brushes out. Okay, so the first step for our hill is that we need to get the right materials. Now I've got some insulation foam here, and it's um, like a, they use it for, it's called Kingspan. Get it from places like Wix, B&Q, things like that. Um, so I've got a relatively large piece, and I'm going to use a Sharpie to draw up my hill area. And I'm going to use just an old kitchen knife, just to, to cut it out as a rough shape. Once we've done that, We'll go around the edges giving it a bit of undulation because obviously that is quite a high area for a, in the world of 28mm models. And uh, yeah, we'll give it a bit of shape and then we're going to get it stuck together. So sit back, relax, um, get your uh, foam, your knives and your PVA out. Um, quick tip obviously, using a knife, be careful, please do it yourself, um, it's not worth it. <laughs> and if you're one of our younger gamers, don't be afraid to ask for a bit of help from an adult. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay, and there with not a great deal of effort, it's starting to look hilly. <laughs> um, I PVA glued the second bit down because I want some sort of height undulation. So that it's important that this is flat still so we can stand miniatures on it. And obviously at the top as well there. Um, but I've given this a bit of a curvature to it. It's a rough shape at the minute. Uh, the PVA needs to dry overnight. I'll be putting a weight on this as well, guys. Just give it some most chance of being as solid as possible. And when I come back to you, it will be fully dry and we'll start adding even more detailing, which we'll do with a bit of a finer knife. So that's stage one of the hill done. Let's uh, let it dry and then uh, make it look even more hilly.
Okay, so what you've seen me do there is cover the whole hill in PVA for a bit of protection. And then I've applied ballast or sand you can use, guys. Uh, a couple of rocks out of the garden. Uh, just to add a bit of interest to it. And I've sanded the top, which is where it's going to be the um, like the grass, the sort of grass areas. Then around the sides we'll make this more of a stony sort of look. But there you go. Next uh, key is to let that thoroughly dry. Magic of YouTube again, it'll be seconds for you, but it'll be overnight for me while I live it. Let it harden up nice and that. We'll get on to painting. Grab those brushes. <laughs> 